two, one. Hey, Daniel Black here. I'm at the National Black Book Festival in Houston, Texas, having a ball. I'm here with other authors like, uh, wow, who's here? Eric Jerome Dickey's here, Walter Mosley's here, Donna Hill, so many others um, of my colleagues. And I'm here featuring my newest work, 12 Gates to the City, as well as Perfect Peace. Folks are still talking about that one. Um, and I'm glad to be here. I'm glad to be here. I'm glad that black literature is alive and well and thriving. My latest novel, 12 Gates to the City, is a follow-up to my very first novel, Tw um, They Tell Me of a Home. So, and 12 Gates to the, to the City picks up where They Tell Me of a Home leaves off and completes the story and, and helps us to understand why T.L. goes home, why he stays home, helps us to understand how the spirits were orchestrating his life, even, even though he didn't understand that level of orchestration. I am now working on a couple of new pieces, uh, one novel about um, a young man on the Middle Passage, I'm excited about that book. Very, very intense, but um, very poetic, I hope. I'm thinking so. I'm certainly trying it uh, in terms of literary strategy. Another novel, a very different book, um, which features homeless individuals as the main characters. All of the characters in the book are homeless. And um, I'm excited about that book, too. A very different kind of book, looking at a very different segment of the population, but hoping to um, to infuse African-American literature with some, with with some different and some varied voices. So I'm excited about what's coming up and I'm excited about what's going on. So um, glad to be on Book Look. <laughs> this is Daniel Black. I'm the author of 12 Gates to the City, Perfect Peace, The Sacred Place, and They Tell Me of a Home. If you are playing video games right now, shut it down. If you were putting on your shorts and your jersey to go outside and play some ball, miss this one. If you're about to go to the mall and shop, skip those sales. Grab a book. Get your life changed. That's what we do here on Book Look. Hi, my name is Troy Johnson. I'm the founder and president of the African and American Literature Book Club, AALBC.com. AOBC.com was started in 1997 and is now the largest website dedicated to books by and about people of African descent. And it gives you more publicity. to a group of friends when one of them decides to run for president. He happens to be African American, handsome, from a multiracial family, and happens to have a beautiful, knockout, fashionista, African American wife. Sound familiar? Um, the reason I wanted to write The GQ Candidate is because there have been a number of novels about presidential campaigns and presidential politics, but there's actually never been a novel told from the perspective of those closest to a candidate. And that's really what I wanted to focus on. I wanted to focus on the sacrifices that those who are friends and family members of people who run for office have to make so that the person that they love can fulfill a lifelong dream. And that's really what the GQ canon is about. Some have described it as sort of an entourage for the political world. Although, as I like to make clear, it's a lot more diverse and the characters for, are really trying to change the world. And so, that's the GQ canon and I hope you'll pick it up. One. Hi, this is Kelly Goff, the author of The GQ Candidate, out in paperback, June 2012, and the author of Party Crashing, How the Hip-Hop Generation Declared Political Independence. I hope you'll visit me on Facebook and on my website at kellygoff.com, and that's Kelly spelled with one L and an I. And you can also find me on Twitter at K-E-L-I-G-O-F-F, -F, and you're watching The Book Look. <laughs> that's perfect. Three, two, one. Hello everyone, my name is Alicia Singleton, and I am the author of a suspense thriller, Dark Side of Valor. Dark Side of Valor is about a former teenage runaway turned child advocate, Lita Freeman, who stumbles onto some political secrets that gets her into a lot of danger. 
she gets kidnapped overseas and has to depend on a tall, dark, handsome stranger to bring her back. But he has some secrets of his own. I think Dark Side of Valor will appeal to people who love, of course, suspense novels and thrillers, but also young adults um, and I'd say high school teens that are struggling with self-esteem issues or problems at home because it addresses the population, the runaway population, teen especially, um, and homeless teens in the United States.